Hey, what's up, guys? It's DJ. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. And welcome to Elm Creek Let's Play episode number two. Today, we're going to have some fun. We're going to be buying a new tractor. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a used tractor as well. We're going to get some new equipment to go along with it and match. We're going to buy some new fields, and we're going to take over our first contract. If you like videos like this, just want to see more Farm Sim 22 stuff in general, make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you never miss any daily Farm Sim videos here on the channel. And out of the way, let's get right into it. So the first question is definitely, what tractor are you going to get? We're going to get a Fent tractor. I was taking a look before recording, and I see right here, right in front of us, it's, it's right there, and it's beautiful. And guess what? It's 50% off. Yes, 50% off of that. To have a 400 plus horsepower tractor, absolutely. We could use this for forever. So I'm going to go with it. I think the only question really is, what kind of tires do we put on this? I really dig the Nookie and King tires. Uh, we got a couple different ones on here, but I don't know if I want to go with something like that or if I want to go with something big. Uh, well, just big in general. I don't think uh, trailer board tires really match quite the American scenes of something like Michelin tires, Continental tires, Midas tires. I do like the Midas tires. I think they look pretty good. And of course, BKT. You know what? I'm kind of going between Continental and BKT. So let's kind of look at it a little bit and see what we get here. So we can get some wheel weights on the Continental, which is pretty cool. We don't need weights right now. And we can get wide tires on the Midas. <clears throat> and that's pretty cool as well. So I think actually I might go with the wide Midas tires. We'll take a look at BKTs real quick, just real quick. Yep, that's the one I'm going with. Not even going to guess that one. Engine setup. Now, this is where it gets a little tricky because we could go from 296 up to 415 and uh, have that for $59,000. But that's a brand new tractor and, uh, well, brand new tractor cost. So I think what I'm going to do is stick with the 296 horsepower for now because that's basically double anything else we got. Rim color. I really want to go with black wheels, but I just don't like them very much. And of course, we got to get the license plate. On here, we're going with placement, front and back, plate number two. And we're going with DJ Goham right there. Accept it. Buy it. Oh, is there anything else over here? Eh, a couple things, but we don't need that stuff. I am going to see if we can come in and upset the cost a little bit. So we're going to sell a tractor. And John Deere fans will be happy because it's not the John Deere, it's the Massey. The Massey's got the least amount of, uh, doesn't have the least, least amount of horsepower, but it definitely is the least affordable tractor that we've got right now. So it's worth the less, or the worth the least. Man, I'm not good with words today, am I? So I'm going to take advantage of the situation and sell both of these trailers and this tractor because this tractor can pull both these trailers pretty well without too many issues but i think we can do a little bit better so i'm gonna come in here we're gonna go ahead and sell these as well again i know i don't want to sell them all but we're going to so let's make it happen right here we're gonna be getting eighty-two thousand dollars. so it says right there so let's go ahead and sell that and then for these trailers we're gonna be getting eleven thousand dollars roughly for each one. That's actually a couple grand more than they were asking in the store. So that's pretty cool. Bring everything to the store, and get you some extra cash. So we got hey, 104 grand right there. I am gonna want to get some new stuff. So let's go in here and find ourselves some new stuff. So of course we could go with some Rudolph trailers, which are brand new. We could go with big brand new trailers, but actually have a pretty sweet little run right here, which is kind of neat. Uh, these hold, I think it's yeah, about 25,000 liters, if I'm not mistaken, right here. Configuration, I believe, is probably where it's going to be. Yeah, right there. So that's going to be 25,000 liters. So that's, I mean, that's quite a lot, right? Especially up from only 16,000 liters total between the other trailers. Well, I don't want anything too crazy, not just yet. For right here, I could get something a little bit less and still be just fine. We could throw BKTs on here as well. We've got our cover. Main color, we can make this black to match up. And we can make some DJ Gohan plates. I love the plates on this thing. They're so cool to be able to have plates. So let's go, DJ, go. Damn, there we go. I forgot how to spell my own name. Okay, and we're gonna buy 
two of them. You guys know me way too well. So there you go. Here's our new rig. We've got a nice 300-ish horsepower tractor. We've got two brand new Brantner trailers and we are ready to hit the town. How could I be so stupid? Um, so used vehicles need to be repaired and they need to be repainted and all of the above. So we're gonna have to come in here and do that. Here we go, so we've got our truck right here. Ooh, 25 grand to repaint it? No thank you, and $8,000 to repair? Oh man, that's, that's rough. Paint condition, oh, I don't care. I mean, look, it still looks brand new. Could care less. Let's get this over there. There was another thing that I wanted to get as well, and that's gonna be some subsoilers. I actually forgot to buy these. So these are going to be used as a plow and cultivator could be used instead of that, yada, yada, yada. So I think what I'm gonna do is get uh, like maybe two of these and run them on the back of the John Deere's. Maybe get the yellow ones because they match as well. They're both four meters. Everything's the same. One requires 150 horsepower. The other one requires 130, but one weighs more. Yada, yada, yada. I think for the sake of not trying to say the name of it, we're just going to get two of these and we're going to rip all of our fields up. That's right. You heard me correctly there. We're going to rip everything up. I think I might be able to pick these up from this side. Maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. I'm gonna have to turn them around. We should be able to take both these at the same time. Here we go. Let's see if I can actually do this. I haven't really thought about this. So there's one. And it might hook it up. Yeah, there we go. Um, Not quite as high up as I want it to be. We might hit a few things on the way. Better hold on tight. Shockingly, we made it down here without having any issues. Hey, that's great. So a couple of you guys picked out in the last video that the fields, they need to be plowed. They don't have anything on them at all. So we've got to get subsoiling going so we can get our plow state. Um, we're going to have to reseed them. I might consider selling the seeder that we've got and buying something else. We will see. Plus, we've got new fields that I want to buy today. We definitely need to take over a contract and go and get it started. So let's do that and let's go and get the contract rocking and rolling. I found one harvesting contract. I haven't accepted it yet, but here it is. The only one who doesn't actually go to Goldcrest Valley. This is going to the grain mill. It is oats and it is on field 73. So I'm going to go ahead and accept the contract. There we go. So we've got it. We got a couple other ones as well. I might take these. I'm not sure. They look like they pay pretty well. So we might take them. Also, yeah, uh, spraying. Pretty sweet. You got herbicide spraying now. How cool is that? 73's down here, and that's a pretty big field overall. Now, I know that some guys were working on a pre-release version of Straw Harvest, or uh, not Straw Harvest, so no, not Straw Harvest. Uh, the Straw Me mod where you could take straw off the fields and stuff like that, or straw missions rather. Yeah, it didn't happen. Um, it just did not come to fruition, at least to start with. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is take this guy who is going to cart for us. Yep, we're gonna get him to cart and we're gonna go ahead and take him down to 73. So I want my guy. Where is he? Here he is, this guy, create job, go to, and we wanna send him down here. Tell you what, we're gonna see if we can get him to go on this little dirt path on the side. Out right there, should be good. Pick the rotation, cool. Target's unreachable. Well, that's a lie. He's an idiot. Can we try this again? So from here, yeah, create job. Yeah, go to, there it is. Start the job. Please go. Thanks, Home Slice. All right, let's get these, <laughs> let's get these John Deere's rocking and ripping all of my fields up because this is gonna take a little bit of time. Yeah, they're four meters, so it's not that bad, but it's subsoilers, so they're going at seven miles an hour. So we're gonna be sitting around for a little while. Get out of here, birds. But everything else is going pretty good uh, overall. I think we're doing all right. We're <laughs> trying to make some good uh, some good plays here. Trying to make some good moves to make plenty of money. A couple of other you guys had mentioned something about uh, bees. I think bees is a great idea. There we go ahead and get that done. Small field, so this won't take very long. But that's not the only field we're gonna get, is it? Nope. I'm also gonna attempt to do a little bit of a flippy flip today. Yeah, um, 
So I want to buy like 50, but 53 and 51 have stuff in them that I want and they're ready to harvest. So I might go ahead and get both of these and then maybe, maybe later go ahead and sell them. Uh, I, I need to do a little bit of flipping because we need to get some more crop. We need to get some more straw so we can make a little bit of more money, so on and so forth. Also, this combine, though it's great, yeah, I might look into getting another combine eventually. I would love to get either the New Holland or something else by next year in game. That would be pretty sweet. And so we need to figure out how in the world we're going to get down to 70. Yeah, I think we're going to have to go this way. Also. Uh, yeah, these fields super small around here. These subsoilers don't even care. They're just rocking through stuff like crazy. Like that one's almost done. The one in front of us almost, uh, well, about halfway done, something like that. They just get these things done in no time. These fields are way too small. So hopefully, uh, hopefully we do something. Maybe plow them together or something like that eventually. Well, looky here. Somebody came down here all by their self and didn't even crash. And if they did, I don't know about it. <laughs> That's awesome, man. That is awesome. We're going to go ahead and hook this up, and I'm going to let the worker just ride this out. We've got plenty of stuff to do back at the main farm. We've also got some lime we got to put down. we got to reseed everything. I mean, we've we got a little bit of work to do, so we're going to try and focus on that stuff as much as possible. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the straw swath. There's no reason to have that running, especially now. Absolutely no reason. So I am going to try and hit maybe two headland-ish areas right here at the top. Oh yeah, check out that straw swath right there. Or say swath, the straw cone. <laughs> That's awesome right there, man. And that is uh, very, very high quality right on it. I think we're rocking, yeah, we're rocking 60 FPS. We're doing okay, man. We're doing all right. It looks like both of the workers back in the main farm have finished as well. So. I'm just gonna run right here. I'm gonna flip this around, do it one more time, hire the worker on it, going up and down, and then empty it whenever we need to. All right, one of these bad boys is gonna get to work. The other one is going to be used for doing some fertilizer spreader. And I actually think I'm going to do the work in the 7810. I'm really enjoying this tractor. Like it's a lot of fun to drive. Definitely, definitely one of my favorite ones that I've driven so far. 4755 is great too, just the turning radius isn't as good. There's nothing wrong with it at all. They both are awesome, great tractors. Uh, just, uh, I don't know, 7810, feel a little more home with that one, if you know what I mean. All right, let's go ahead and get this one put in, and we need lime. I have no fertilizer spreader, lime spreader, anything spreader, as a matter of fact. Man, there's rocks everywhere. I'm hoping, these look a lot bigger than the ones that we had before. So I'm really hoping we can roll those bad boys out. Get out of here, bird. Singular. Uh, fertilizer spreader. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Okay, so in here we got the big one, but that doesn't do lime. This does do lime, but unfortunately it costs 45 grand. Oh, yeah, 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 yay. So do we go? Yeah, there's no other choice. We have to get this. Don't, yeah. There's no no other way around it. We have to get this to use for the line. We should definitely put BKT tires on it though. Why tires? Oh, duh. Ooh, those are much more expensive. No, I'm okay. <laughs> uh, I do like the spreading unit. This increases the spread a little bit. This is only 12 meters, and I th I think the main's like six, but that does 18. 18 is a little bit better. I still think we're going to have to go with this, though, because 53 grand just for a fertilizer spreader, it's a little bit high, man. It's a little bit high, especially for the small fields that we've got. Oh, yeah, and while we were doing things, I may have also uh, bought another field to flip. I actually had to sell one because you probably got so I didn't have enough money to buy the darn thing, so I had to sell a field that I was going to flip. Sad times. I'm also getting rid of the cultivator because we've now got two four meter subsoilers we don't need one three meter cultivator you can see the paint condition is awful and to twenty six hundred dollars just to repaint the darn thing no no but i will sell it for seventy five hundred dollars i'm totally okay with that 79 hey even better i did go with the extension version and i went 
with these spreading discs. So I think we're okay here. We've got pretty much everything that we need there. All good to go. Now there is a couple ways we could do this. One way is we go into like pallets and find uh, lime, so solid fertilizer. So I guess we're not going in there, huh? Uh, we could go here and we could get lime this way or uh, maybe big bags. Yep, yeah, right here. So $350 for 2,000 liters. Do we have anything else in here? Just lime. So $2,000 or 2,000 liters, 350 bucks. And here, 2,000 liters, 450 bucks. Well, I'm not, <laughs> mama didn't raise no idiot. So I'm gonna go with this. We're going to get, I think, uh, four of them? Five of them. Yeah, we need to get five because this will hold 11,000 liters. So that's 10,000. Even tells you how many liters it is over there on the left-hand side. How cool is that? That's pretty sweet. And it even puts everything in a nice little orderly uh, place for us. Now that. That is cool. Really? Okay, I was about to say, you're telling me with big bags I can't load them? <laughs> that would be wild. All right, let's load this up. Let's get back over there. Let's put lime down. Guess who I almost forgot about? Yep, this guy. Uh, <laughs> Guess we need to do this. Tell you one thing that I really want to do is replace this combine harvester. You know, it's cool. I like it. I'm a big fan of the uh, the Dewey's Far stuff, but I think we could probably get more work done and better work done, and maybe faster work done as well. We use something a little bit well modded. You guys knew that was coming along, didn't you? We do have some goodies that a couple of our friends have put together for us. Shout out to our unnamed friends. Love you guys, by the way. Uh, where we've got, like, this guy. This holds, I think, uh, well, it says one million liters. Really? I don't think it holds that much. Maybe it does. Okay, well, one million liter capacity. And uh, we can't really change up a whole lot, but we've got the necessities right there. 265,000. Oops. Sorry. Get back over here, see if we can empty the rest of this out there. And then we've got the header for it, which of course goes fast. That would definitely help us out a little bit with stuff here. Well, I guess you're just gonna keep going, aren't you? You empty? You are empty, all right. Fair enough. This kind of thing should be pretty self-explanatory. Spread the lime and be done with it. I'm hoping it is that self-explanatory. Ooh, look at that. Now that looks pretty good. I like that. If I can hire workers. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna hire a worker, let him get to the end, then hire another worker, come all the way back on the other farm. Yeah, yeah, that looks pretty good, man. Giants, really nice animation there. Really, really nice animation. Yeah, I think Giants thinks we're gonna put both of these together. So we should probably just go ahead and plow these together. Maybe not now, maybe eventually though. Spreading discs were definitely the way to go. This is gonna save us a ton of time and work. This is all right. Now I'm starting to get a little bit of deja vu because <laughs> didn't I just do this? Didn't I just come through and roll all of this? It did. I remember doing it. It's not like it was awful. It, just, it was what it was. Uh, and it looks like I'm not gonna be able to see where in the world I went. So let's just go ahead and hire a worker. That's going to do a fantastic job for us. Yes. Please continue to do a great job. Please don't stop there. Oh boy. What do I do? Uh, I don't know what to do. Just fold the... What's the harvester doing? It will unfold them. Yeah, this will be good. There we go. It only took a little bit of fertilizer. And now I can see my fields again. And I can see where to roll them and etc 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 so at least we're doing this and we're getting a fertilizer state down so that's cool you can see the fertilizer flying everywhere that is absolutely beautiful really really cool stuff through there and i also spent way too much on this uh someone sent me over a like buy anything station to try out and the fertilizer is massively expensive so we took a huge hit i think it cost like 16 19 grand to fill this thing up something like that where it should have cost like three <laughs> or maybe 
It's all right. We're cheating the system anyway. So it is what it is. Still got a ton to do, man. I've still got to do this. We got to roll everything. We got to get the, the crops put in the ground. Uh, canola is basically the only thing we could do right now. We could try and do like some, uh, I don't know, uh, what would you do here? Grass, maybe. We could plant all these in grass and then come and mow them up later on, but I don't think that's going to work. I think the best thing to do here is to just go with the original plan, plant canola and everything, and then wait until next year to get wheat and everything else. Should be some fun regardless of what we decide to do. But until then, we've got one more job before we take off today, and that is going to be delivering the crop from our contract. And don't you know... We're delivering it here to the grain mill to a place that we own question is will we get this grain since it's delivering to a place where we own as you can see we're gonna double check just to make sure because i don't want to mess this up but let's see our contracts are showing something where do the contracts go here we are so right here we're showing 73 harvesting taking it to the grain mill okay we're at the grain mill i want to set this to go on the left hand side because whenever i'm doing tandem trailers like this i like left hand side and let's go ahead and dump we have 20,000 liters in here which tells me we need to give them about 15,000 liters of it so when we've got about five left we should ease up a little bit what nine percent transported for field 73 are you kidding me i don't have any more 14 percent trans what uh is it's just not gonna let me complete the contract is it 16 percent dude that was it what else am i supposed to do deliver the oats to the grain mill it did that it's all i didn't steal anything um where's my combine there's nothing in the combine it did the whole field i gave it everything it's saying 88 percent i'm gonna have to cancel the contract are you serious what a time to be alive <laughs> It's all right. I failed the contract, but I got to keep the oats. So whatever. I'm the winner now. And I'm going to keep winning through the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed today's Let's Play from Elm Creek on Farm Sim 22. If you did, drop a like on it. Get subscribed if you are new and you enjoyed this one. Join the GoHand fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos, no matter what they may be, here on the channel. All that said, hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.